take a boat to go to Minga to see two of the most important temples in Mandalay. Freshly arrived in Mandalay yesterday. We also met with Danny at the hotel. Hey Danny. Danny from Miami. <laughs> That's it. And we're going today to visit some interesting place around the city. Though the first stop is the Mingan Pagoda. So the, the story behind that building is like the construction that started in um, 1790, so about like more than 200 years ago, because the king of Myanmar was like very popular and he had like a lot of success uh, in the war, right? So he captured some, some slaves from different country and started the construction of that pagoda. And after seven years of construction, it arrived at that current state of what we can see right now in our days. And after seven years, the construction has drastically slowed down because there were like a, a prophecy that started to, um, to emerge in the country saying that as soon as the pagoda, the construction of the pagoda would finish, the country will, would, would, would fall completely, like it, the country will end. The rule will, will finish. Whoa. That's it. So they slowed down the construction because they didn't want, they didn't want uh, to finish. And when the king uh, died, they completely stopped the, the construction. So that building, that Mingan Pagoda is just left and finished. And that current state is just a third of height of what it was supposed to be in the first place. Sick. So yeah. it'll never be finished. So it's that way Myanmar is never falls apart. Yeah, that's it. That's the final stage, and they've, they haven't finished the building intentionally because they didn't want their country to fall. What do you guys think about that? Incredible B roll in this place. I mean, really top notch. <laughs> there you go. Incredible. So big and so different. Walking from the Mingan Pagoda, you will find that white pagoda. So it has been built in the beginning of the 19th century by the seventh king of Myanmar. And the reason why he built that is because um, so his wife, the princess um, White Elephant, that's what she called, died uh, during um, childbirth. So that's that's the reason why. So it's kind of, it's kind of like a memorial. It's a sick shot. It's beautiful. And now, where are we going to? In Mandala here. Take the second set of stars, and we have to be here. And the front that we are going to see all the city. It 
took us approximately 30 minutes, 40 minutes to get up to Mandalay Hill. And once you get, you reach the top, you have to pay, to pay a fee of 1,000 kyat, which is approximately 30 cents of euro. So, let's on that. Hey, Mingalaba. Mingalaba. <laughs> So, and once you reach the top, you have like a quite a nice view on Mandalay and its surroundings. Before we wrap up that video, we just wanted to share with you like quite a unique experience we had today in Mandalay. So we went up the hill, the Monday in here, and what happened is that at about like four o'clock, a bunch of kids came to us asking us if we were like speaking English, um, where we were coming from, and where we we're gonna travel to in the, in the future, and that's it. But the most interesting thing it was the con the conversation became more philosophical. Yeah. They start to ask us, uh, what's for us the meaning of? life, yeah. uh, what is real love mm. and how it is traveling with our partner. Mm. So the the conversation has, has become very, very deep and interesting and we spent hours with them. And the most um, particular thing, it was that um, between them, they were students, they were monks. So we could share our experiences and our ideas with them. It was very, very unique. So that's, that's for us what makes our trip to Mandalay unique, is that experience with local people. There was like such a big opportunity for us to like to talk with them because they were speaking such a good English as well. So we, we remember that part, for that, that's for sure. If you like the video, put like, subscribe and don't forget to ring the bell. Ciao. <laughs> Tata, bye bye. <laughs>